there's there's so many ways up the mountain and i think learning all of these different ways because the psychedelic experience isn't going to be something that you're going to want to do all the time you know i mean there's and one of the methods that i really like is ecstatic dance yeah so that's a container that i've cultivated and i use on my retreats and masterminds and things and i've actually mapped one of them to stan groff's basic perinatal matrices so bpm one two three four so you wow. actually dance your way through these different processes mm. ultimately finding yourself in the ecstasy of breath and being birth and it's a really powerful experience for people especially because people men in particular i find are constricted in certain movement patterns and are uncomfortable with their body because they've had to be this macho form of themselves that only moves in a certain way because of rampant homophobia and social stigma and all of these things that have kind of constricted the way that we're comfortable moving and you burst out of those patterns and then follow these arcs whether it's the hero's journey or the basic perinatal matrices and come out the other side and doing it with the community together it just really bonds people right we have really electronic dance music and then we always consider it ecstatic dance i yeah. mean people can really you know pump themselves up and get very high at the ecstatic dance music they're all in a tribe together they're mm -hmm. all jumping up and down and i i've always felt that the young people that are jumping up and down together at these ecstatic dance raves but now more trance or you know edm whatever it it, it evolves into they are having a community a spiritual experience yeah very very of bonding a yeah. bonding a bonding yeah. like that exactly what you're saying and to have a group experience where you're going through those transformative rebirth uh stations you know and dancing and uh well it's i think that that ecstatic dance is probably maybe it's the first art form yeah one of the one of the first one of the most ancient ways yeah. in which we've we've all accessed that point and it's also i think you know you can take it the other way too where you can go to a, a nightclub where you get some people paying for the really expensive tables and then the more expensive tables and then the fancy showing of how the the sparklers and the champagne and all this kind of hierarchy and posturing and the way that you're kind of showing off and trying to attract this different thing and, and then there's some people dancing but mostly everybody's just trying to look cool for the other person it's like the opposite of an ecstatic dance where everybody's sweaty together on the same level there's no hierarchy you're you bring whatever you're drinking you're bringing yourself you know and then hopefully it's water and you know it's just a different type of different type of thing but it's like you know the original mystical experience in religion like it can get distorted dance this thing that we all love to do that we think that we're called to well we can create this into this kind of hierarchical power laden structure which is fine nothing nothing against that i've gone to plenty of nightclubs and done the thing you know it's okay but it's not the same thing is everybody just taking off their shirt and getting taking off their shoes and getting sweaty together dancing the same music and giving each other a big hug afterwards or lying down and meditating and crying and whatever kind of comes through wow. you know those are the experiences that i think people are craving i hate to say it but when you take the alcohol out of the uh configuration i i feel like alcohol often depresses that um i don't know that that bond although people can get pretty pretty lovey around it too but it just seems like when we were in a club in in manhattan we we were in a club building there were six clubs in our building and the first floor was spirit new york and they are the ones that brought us there to bring the sacred mirrors and alex's paintings to the fourth floor so we had the twelve thousand square feet on the fourth floor of this building but all the all the floors were clubs and there were there was violence in every club shootings actually except ours where we were alcohol free hippies and uh <laughs> we were always welcome and our people looked very different from everybody else but the guard the security people and the police out on the street and everything it was it was 27th street it was you know chelsea it was you know very very raging and ours was always extremely peaceful we never had any real problems at all except you know maybe we needed a little counseling for somebody who might have had a gone the wrong turn you know what i'm saying sure. really it was absolutely peaceful and everybody knew it and in the other floors there were shootings in every floor it was just like they all closed eventually and we we were no out. alcohol yeah we were what no alcohol. no alcohol alcohol free i think always. when you know i really encourage people to when you dance 
sober it's dance is a medicine and i think alcohol actually robs you of a piece of that medicine you know Mm -hmm. i was out just recently at a salsa club and i wasn't drinking at all that night usually i'll have a drink or two if i'm going out dancing but i was sober that night and the band left i'm not a very good salsa dancer so it's a lot of thinking when i'm doing salsa (laughs) i actually have thinking so hard my mouth is open like i'm like a (laughs) goldfish with head trauma i'm just like oh because i can't process the beat very well but then all right so then the band goes off and they just start playing like edm infused reggaeton music like latin music and i was like oh i can dance to this and i'm dancing sober and i get that natural endorphin rush that was like so exhilarating that i used to remember from when i was younger these times that i ecstatic dance and i was like oh this is so much better so much better to just dance freely and freely express yourself through dance when you're not having these depressants in your system now that said i did actually get tired (laughs) you know like i actually had to take a break you know because i didn't have something propelling me forward right but the but the experience of engaging with that form of movement without the alcohol was actually the best yeah you know it really was pure pure joy you know yeah and i think i think too many times people are like try to stack too many things like all right, I'm going to do this thing in the float tank and then this thing in the sweat lodge. I'm like, no, just do the sweat lodge, man. Like, just go to the float tank. Like, it's enough. And then maybe when you're really experienced, you know, like you can start to stack and play with it, but you don't need to go into your first float experience, you know, super baked or super high on anything else at all. Just go float. It's an experience in and of itself. So is dance. So is the inipi. So is the, you know, temascal. So all these things are medicine forms or breath work for sure you know like go into that sober there's plenty of medicine there for you you know you don't need to heighten this to the to the ultimate level like accept the medicine that's available and it's actually going to be the best